Camelot 331 here. And we got to talk about something today, something pretty insane. And I haven't seen a lot of people talking about it. And I feel like this should be front page news all over the damn world. And somebody needs to pay dearly. And that somebody is like a group of executives at Amazon. And the reason why is some tragedy has taken place in Illinois where a tornado went through and took several people's lives, which is already a tragedy and a horrible damn thing. But just like when I worked at GameStop, when storms came through the area, my district manager would tell us to just uh, just hold out and wait for it. If the power went out, just write down stuff on a receipt and do cash transactions and use your keys on the registers. It's fine. Profit over people as per usual. Well, guess what? People were trapped inside these Amazon warehouses and they unfortunately lost their lives because Amazon would not let them go home. They would not let them go anywhere. And we're going to get into the gritty details of this, but I think they should pay dearly. And I mean dearly as hell. I feel like the people that are involved in this, the families, they should never, their kids, their kids' grandkids should never have to work again. And every executive should go to their house for the next 400 years in lineage and kiss them around the forehead with a million dollars. That's what I'm saying. Because this is ridiculous. And I've been thinking my entire life, especially when I worked at GameStop and I had to deal with stuff like this, somebody's going to get hurt. Somebody's going to eventually get hurt from a stupid-ass policy like this. And guess what? It happened. And we're going to read over it. So before we get into it, please share this video. Please like the hell out of it. And comment down below your thoughts. Does your company do this? Let's get into this sauce. Undamn believable. So check this out real quick. And it gets really, really bad. But check this out first for a little bit of context. So it says, Amazon uh, employee died in a bathroom sheltering from tornado with colleagues. So this just gives us some context here. It says, Amazon driver Austin J. McEwen, 26, was an only child who loved to listen to rapper Mac Miller and hunt with his friends. He died trying to shelter from a powerful tornado in a bathroom at the Amazon warehouse on Friday night. He was one of six workers identified by police on Sunday who were killed when their plant in Edwardsville, Illinois, buckled under the force of a devastating storm. A barrage of tornadoes ripped through six U.S. states, leaving a trail of death and destruction at homes and businesses stretching more than 200 miles. Now, keep that in mind. They knew about this tornado coming for over an hour, or the storm, and they weren't allowed to leave. So, the other Amazon workers identified by the coroner was DeAndre S. Morrow, Kevin D. Dickey, Clayton Lynn Cope, Etheria S. Heb and Larry E. Verdon. All these people. Several employees told Reuters that they had been directed to shelter in bathrooms by Amazon managers after receiving emergency alerts on their phones. By the way, there's more to this emergency alert system. A big thing of concern is these warehouses are not built to withstand any kind of storm like this. That's number one. All right, OSHA should be all over this, but that's another story. Amazon said our team worked quickly to ensure as many employees and partners could get to the designated shelter in place, which the designated shelter is just the bathroom, which in hindsight, it's the first time they actually let their employees go to the bathroom in a long time. But that's not all. Check this out. So we have the context now. The tornado came. Six people lost their lives. But what happened there? Why were they there when they knew it was coming? Let's check this out. It says Amazon worker who died in warehouse collapse wasn't allowed to leave wow how shocked am i right now not shocked at damn all says one of the victims who was killed by a tornado at the amazon warehouse in illinois texas his girlfriend before the deadly tornado struck saying the company had ordered him to hold off on driving home shocking it says i got text messages from him he always tells me when he's filling up the amazon truck when he's getting ready to come back i was like okay i love you and he said, well, Amazon won't let me leave until after the storm blows over, his girlfriend of 13 years says. She said the text was sent at 8.23 p.m., 16 minutes before the tornado touched down at 8.39. He could have been at home this whole time, which, uh, mind you, did not get hit, which means Amazon is directly responsible, directly responsible of this man's this man's life lost. It says he only lives 13 minutes away from the warehouse right here. Amazon is responsible for his death. 
No damn doubt about it. No bow to doubt it, damn it. We heard the tornado didn't touch down until 839, so he had 20 minutes to get home. That's all the evidence right there. Amazon is completely, completely responsible. The, the, his family should get $100 million tomorrow. Like, could you imagine texting your loved one? And Am- God, ugh, it pisses me off. Dumbass company. Profit over people every time. God, undamn believable. He was the father of four children. And the couple of 13 years had three children together. Jesus, man. Amazon said Edwardsville site received a tornado warning through various alerts. And the team site worked to get as many workers and partners into the designated area. They didn't want them to leave. What happened? What happened? They didn't want them to leave. Right? They wanted the storm to blow over and them to keep working. That's what they wanted. And right here, this is actually very important. It says, the company says employees and drivers are permitted to have their cell phones while working, which can provide emergency weather alerts and allow employees to contact family members. Amazon had previously prohibited workers from having their phones on the warehouse floor, forcing employees to leave their phones in their vehicles or in employee lockers, a policy that the company backed off on during the pandemic. After these deaths, there is no way in hell I'm relying on Amazon to keep me safe. No, no, absolutely not. And Amazon, of course, Amazon says we're deeply saddened by the news that members of our Amazon family passed away while they were at home, cushy, in the corporate office, while they are at home, chilling in their damn mansion. We're sad to hear it. I bet you are, because you about to get sued to a damn oblivion. But that's not all. So we have the context. Of course, as expected, Amazon wouldn't allow these people to leave. This guy lived 13 minutes away from his house. The tornado didn't touch down till over 20 minutes later. He would have been home for eight minutes. Eight minutes. His girlfriend was all right. His kids were all right. He would be okay today. But Amazon completely muffed that one up and made him stay. So did the other six employees. They're responsible for all seven deaths of that. But, but what's even worse is check out this other factory right here. Check out this other factory right here. This factory in Kentucky say they were threatened with being fired being fired if they left before a tornado hit. At least eight people died in this candle factory. Same exact thing as Amazon. Undamn believable. It says, a, a, a catastrophic tornado approached the city Friday. Employees of the candle factory, which would later be destroyed, heard the warning sirens and wanted to leave the building. But at least five workers said supervisor warned employees they would be fired if they left their shifts early. Unbelievable, which I can guarantee MTU Amazon said the same thing. Oh, you'll you'll get your first and final or you'll be fired if you left. Why else would you stay? At least eight people died from that. Seven people in the Amazon factory, eight in this factory. Are you kidding me? And and where is where is we always hear about politicians on social media trying to score those points? Where are they tweeting about this? Where are they messaging people about this? Where are the celebrities that are so concerned with with random stuff happening that's on CNN or the news or something. Where are they when this is happening? Oh, it's because it's a corporate company. We're not allowed to say anything negative about them anymore for some weird reason. People had questioned if they could leave or go home. Unbelievable. If you leave, you're more likely to be fired, the manager said. I heard it with my own damn ears. Unbelievable. Unbelievable, man. That is unbelievable. I asked to leave, and they told me I'd be fired. Even with the weather like this, you're still going to fire me? The manager said yes. Shocking. The company, of course, denies the allegations. I'm so shocked. I'm so- <laughs> Please don't sue us, right? It's absolutely untrue, says the spokesperson. We have a co- policy in place since co- the C-virus began. Employees can leave anytime they want to leave. My ass! That is a lie. That is a bold-faced lie. I've worked... In environments like this. It's a damn lie. You cannot leave in any time you want. Are you shitting me? Are you shit? No, you can't. No, you can't. <laughs> like, what? What? Oh, at least 15 people asked to leave, but they weren't allowed to. But apparently they're, they're allowed to. Yeah, my ass. My, my ass. You can't leave. You have to stay here. Everybody was uncomfortable. Mm. That's the thing. We should be able to leave. The first warning came, and they just had us go in the hallway. After the warning, they had us go back to work. Em- Emery was trapped for six hours, had several chemical burn marks on her leg, 
her forehead from the candle wax. She was also sustained kidney damage. Her urine is black and she can't move her legs because of swelling from being motionless for so long. Employees wanted to go home and they couldn't. This is a bigger problem, guys. This is a bigger problem than people realize. This was something that was waiting to happen for a long time. Everywhere I've ever worked that was a corporate company, you were not allowed to... Basically, they would just tell you to go hunker down in the back so they could, you know, of course, get your labor after the storm blew over. The off chance that something happens bad, well, an executive is probably going to say, well, we're really sorry for your loss. Sorry, I was too busy eating food in my mansion with my family while you were literally going through hell in one of our warehouses we couldn't even care less about. This is a bigger problem. If there is ever severe weather on a radar for the next day, we can literally predict this stuff. If there is ever severe weather, I don't give a damn if it's cold, winter ass, or tornado coming, people should be allowed to leave no damn questions asked. I can't believe that's even a thing. When I asked my district manager back in the day, when there was a tornado in the area and we didn't have power, I was like, oh, I can obviously go home, right? He was like, nope, just hunker down until until the power comes back on and do cash transactions. During a tornado warning, and you couldn't even see four feet out the window, they don't give a damn. It's always been profit over people, and it's always going to be unless we do something about it. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. It's... It, it, <laughs> You don't have you don't have to lose your life for a corporate company that wouldn't do a damn thing to lift a finger for you. Walmart won't they'll, they'll give you a twenty dollar bonus for working there for twenty one years. Twenty dollars. All right, that's what they're going to give you for twenty years of your life. They ain't going to give you anything else for your whole life if you lose it there. That's just my opinion on it. Sorry I get so heated. I hate these topics. I hate when stuff like this is preventable and no one says anything about it and no one talks about it and no one does the moral tweets about it trying to get free clout about it. No one does it. It's annoying. These people didn't have to die. Amazon's directly responsible. So is this candle factory. And they should pay. They shouldn't even be open anymore. In my opinion. Look, Amazon should be... That's like a $100 billion lawsuit. Immediately dead. Not don't, don't even go to court. Don't even go to court. <laughs> That's how I feel. How do you feel? Comment down below. Share this. Please share this. Maybe they. Maybe we could stop it from damn happening again. Let me know what you think. And uh, huh. my heart goes out to those people that were involved in this. I can't. I can't even fathom it. I can't even fathom it. Until next time. Get the hell on it, dog on it. Bye. Yeah, here's a here's a unicorn. There you go. <laughs> Put me in a bad mood, man. I just can't believe it.